They say that man knows more about the surface of Mars than our oceans. The lack of ocean knowledge is huge, not just in the fisheries, but everywhere. The sensor we are developing might not just improve the accuracy of fisheries, but we can learn a lot about the environment and sustainability in general. The idea behind Rescue Unit came from an environmental problem. We saw that with a simple innovation, we can contribute to solve it. It, it started off as a simple idea, and it is. But now you're talking about a tool that can not only rescue these pots and stop ghost fishing, we have data. So you're also going to be able to take depths, you'll be able to take solidity in the water, you'll be able to take currents, you'll be able to take temperatures. It, it's brilliant. We've had the idea of a sensor for a long time. But when we met the team at Global Ocean Data, we saw that we could develop it quicker than we had thought. At Global Ocean Data, we work with electronics, mainly sensor technology. We've worked with this since the 80s and 90s in the oil and gas industry. Now we can implement the technology in sustainable industry. Today we have advanced measuring stations that are really expensive. This means that there are very few of these measuring points. We've reduced the size so it can fit in a small pot. At the same time, it's a cheap investment. This gives us a better understanding of what's happening in the sea. I think it's very important to collect marine data. Data like currents, temperature, salinity, pH are important factors for our fish stocks and also our fisheries. Both the actual fisheries or the research and governance of the fisheries. Rescue Unit's work is important because it's linked to fisheries at the bottom. Most data sets from boats and farms are taken from the surface, but these are known locations at the bottom. And it will make it easier to understand new connections in fisheries and research. Now you're getting the kind of data that's going to help you fish faster. And faster fishing is good, because the less time you spend at sea, the better off you are. Your overhead goes down, is good for the environment, your money goes up. And the safety factor, nobody wants to be on the ocean more than they have to, at least not me. When we met the guys at Global Ocean Data, it was a perfect match. We saw that by investing in them, we can develop the equipment we need to make fishing equipment smarter. With Global Ocean Data here at Olgor Grunderhub, we have access to facilities that are very important for our progress. We've made two prototypes. We're testing one of them in the well here at Olgord. The well is 600 meters, so it's easy to measure what's happening in the well. We see how the sensors work, not to mention the pressure. Imagine a million sensors on fishing equipment all over the world. They are on the ocean on a daily basis. These data sets are globally unique. You can see kind of the light at the end of the tunnel of how we can fix some of the problems that are out there. You know, I get a little passionate about this stuff because that's the kind of change we're seeing and we're able to do. I think with Rescue Unit and all the capabilities, you're going to streamline fisheries. And when you streamline something, only good can come out of it. The UN has declared this the decade of the ocean. Rescue Unit is going to contribute with Norwegian innovation. The sensors make all this possible, so we can increase the sustainability in fisheries.